Why, hello again everybody. Guess who? It's me again. Today I will be explaining logical operators in MySQL. I would think of them as keywords that are used to combine more than one condition. For my examples to make more sense, I will add one more column, a job column. So let's alter our table of employees. Alter table employees add column job. The data type will be var char 25. I'll add this column after our hourly pay column. Then select all from my table employees. Here is our job column. Let's add some jobs to our employees. Let's update employees set job equal to let's select Mr. Krabs. He will be a manager. Then be sure to add a where clause. Employee ID equals one. Mr. Krabs is a manager. Squidward will be a cashier. Employee ID equals two. SpongeBob, employee ID three. He will be a cook. Patrick will also be a cook. Sandy will be an assistant manager. Let's abbreviate the word assistant. Assistant manager. Plankton. Plankton will be a janitor. How is this related to logical operators, you're wondering? Well, using logical operators, we can check more than one condition. Suppose that our boss wants us to find any cooks that were hired before January 5th. How can we write a query that can satisfy those two conditions? Here's how. We will use the AND logical operator. Select all from our table employees Using a WHERE clause, we will write two conditions. Find any employees where the hire date is less than the year 2023, January 5th. So far, this would give us three results. Mr. Krabs, Squidward, and SpongeBob. From these three employees, how do we find any cooks? Well, we can add the AND logical operator. And we can write some other condition. Job is equal to cook. There, we have SpongeBob. He is a cook that was hired before January 5th. So that's the AND logical operator. You will return any results that match these two criteria. Another logical operator is OR. You can check more than one condition. As long as one of those conditions is true, that row will be true. Let's find any cooks or cashiers where job is equal to cook. That gives us both SpongeBob and Patrick. They're both cooks. Or job is equal to cashier. That would also include Squidward. He's not a cook, but he is a cashier. With the or logical operator, only one condition needs to be true. Whereas with the and logical operator, both conditions must be true. So that's the main difference between the AND as well as OR logical operators. With the NOT logical operator, NOT is a little different. NOT basically reverses anything you say. Let's find any employees that are NOT a manager. Where NOT job equals manager. We have all of our employees besides Mr. Krabs. We have cashiers, cooks, assistant managers, and janitors. You can combine logical operators too. Let's find anybody that's not a manager and not an assistant manager. Let's add and not job equals assistant manager. We have everybody besides a manager and besides an assistant manager. Mr. Krabs and Sandy are not within the results. So that is the not logical operator. It basically reverses whatever condition you write. There's also between. Between is used within a single column. It's very similar to the AND logical operator, except people prefer to use the between logical operator when working with the same column, just because of its readability. Let's find any employees where the hire date is between January 4th and January 7th, where hire date between two values, 2023, 0, 1, 0, 4, 
and 2023-01-07. So we have SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Sheldon. There's also the in logical operator. We can find any values that are within a set. Let's find where job is in cook, cashier, or a janitor. Yep, we have a cashier, a cook, a cook, and a janitor. There is more than one way to write a query where you need to match more than one condition. Really, the best way depends on your data set. Basically speaking, logical operators are used to check more than one condition, but they're done so in different ways depending on the logical operator that you're using. But yeah, those are logical operators in MySQL.